For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem there shall be deliverance, as the Lord has said among the remnant who calls the Lord's name. There's only going to be a remnant that gets this message. You have to make a decision tonight. Are you part of that remnant? It's supernatural. We're going to close with this song tonight until we break through. We're going to lift up the name of Yeshua, Jesus. We're going to lift up a banner. I'm going to ask that would someone bring the basket of banners that are in the back corner? Someone bring them and put them down front. Is there banners on this side too? Wherever the banners are, I want you to bring them. The Lord showed me this earlier today, and this is particularly for some men, but maybe some women too. Yeah, if you bring it down, Wyoming. If you're a man in this house and you have never waved a banner at church, I want you to come and wave a banner. I want you to man up and worship. Quit letting your wife do all the worship. Well, she takes care of that, and I'm over here. I work hard. I make the money. We tithe. We bring offerings. But she's the one that does all the intercession. She's the one that waves the banner. She's the one that acts like a Jesus freak while I'm cool with my friends. You want a good dose of the ghost? Get out of the pride. And it's amazing how waving one of those, look, it's just a piece of cloth. Now, if we were at the OU football game or the Razorback, or the Cowboys, it wouldn't make any difference, whatever that flavor is. You know, we as men will take our shirts off. And most of us don't need to be taking our shirts off. You know, when you're at the game with your shirt off and your friend can park his beer as a cup holder in your belly button, you need to leave your shirt on. But yet you'll do that and you'll put the letter of the team and then you get with your friends. And all that is cool, which is all the devil. But you wouldn't dare come to church and let tears come down your eyes and and wave and thank God so that when we pray for the grandbaby who the enemy tried to kill you just don't get the same calls I get at my house I get about three calls a week where if the Lord doesn't answer the prayer someone's going to die so I mean I've got to stay on ready because it's and I do not want to, you know what? I really don't care if someone dies because they're saved and they're going to go instantly to be with Jesus. I'm, I'm good with that. I really am. What I'm not good with is the family that is devastated by the feeling of betrayal and that God failed them. That's the problem I have. I'm not worried about the person. That person that goes on to be with the Lord is in much better shape than all of us. But the ones left behind are scarred for life. All because we couldn't pray through? Come on. This is serious stuff. The, the world is looking for a sold out believer who is unafraid and unashamed. And you're seeing it all over the world in the persecuted church. All these children are being killed because they will not denounce the name of Jesus. Man, it's speaking volumes. They're piled up in ditches and all this. They won't. They won't deny it. I guarantee if one of them was here, they'd race and take the banner out of your hand. We need the men and the body of Christ to humble themselves and start to worship the Lord. If the men will lead the way and the worship the children will follow. Are you hearing me? You're a type of father like Jesus' father. His father isn't standing up. He doesn't have to stand up. His son is standing up. 
But he's always there saying, son, whatever you ask for, I'm going to do. And you know what the Lord's asking the fathers in this house to do? Worship him. Make a demonstration into the atmosphere that at House of David, as men, we are unashamed to wave a banner and worship the Lord because his name is above every name. And every knee, and let mine be first, bend and bow to the name of Jesus. If you'll bend your knee in your heart and ask the Lord, Father God, I ask that the Father send the glory. The glory will come. It's so much easier to focus on one thing than to have to focus on seven needs when the Lord says focus on one name and I'll give it to you all. If you just bow your heads as the worship team starts into this proclamation, let them go through the song the first time, and then I want you to obey whatever the Lord tells you to do. I want you to do it.